Uh, my name is Ryan Hotep. I'm broadcasting on behalf of 13signsastrology.com. Um, doing a, something a little different. Um, I want to talk about a particular crystal. Uh, this particular crystal, it uh, came into my life recently, actually. Um, I've heard about this crystal, but I've never worked with this crystal, and it's so amazing. I started working with this crystal, and I'm like, wow, I need to definitely... Uh, share this with the people or whatever, but uh, this particular crystal right here You can see it. This is called Shiva Lingham This is called Shiva Lingham and um, this particular crystal uh, It's indigenous of India um, And it comes from a river a particular river. I believe it's called the Narmada River in India and um beautiful stone I mean a beautiful stone those of you that know me know I talk a lot about uh, energy and working with energy and uh, how basically energy is really your connection to spirituality and when you begin to work with this Shiva Lingham you're talking about working with energy this is the stone that you want this is the stone that you want um, now the shape of it you can see it's shaped basically kind of like kind of like a, a egg but it's also shaped if you kind of look at it it's shaped like a, a phallus and the reason for this is because this stone is cut is cut this way it doesn't come out the ground this way sometimes it does but most of the time it doesn't it's cut this way by the natives of India and it's shaped like this because it's meant to depict the uh, male yang and the female yin energy and uh, <clears throat> this stone can be used for in sexual rituals and uh, tantric yoga and things of that nature. But this stone actually is good for just your overall reproductive system. I mean, it has a lot of uh, healing properties. Um, now, you can use stones. People that know me know I talk a lot about stones. Now, you can use stones to heal yourself spiritually. And uh, you can use stones to heal yourself physically because all diseases start on the on the etheric or the spiritual or astral level and then they make their way down into the physical body so when you are sick or diseased from something it starts on the astral level then it comes down into the physical body or whatever so when you work with crystals basically what you're doing is you're healing the etheric body or the spiritual body or the light body I mean it's Many people have different names, but it's really actually seven bodies that you have or whatever. When you work with crystals, what you're doing is you're healing your um, astral bodies and your bodies that you can't necessarily touch. Because the body that you can touch, your shell, is just one body, but your body, you have seven layers. And when you work with crystals, you're, he you're healing those etheric, spiritual, light layers. And uh, when you work with Shiva, Lingham, you are working with... Uh, basically an energy that helps to heal the reproductive system uh, it helps you with your will it helps you to raise your main one of the main things it does is it helps to raise your kundalini energy and uh, basically your kundalini energy is located on the base of your spine I've talked about this before and you um, <clears throat> basically what it is is it's pretty much what most people call your sexual energy but really your sexual energy is really kundalini energy and your kundalini energy is what's responsible for act activating the third eye so that's why this stone is so important because this stone can help you to activate the third eye which is actually located in what's called your higher self or your higher chakras the third eye is located in your higher chakras but the energy and i already said this stone is for your lower chakras but what happens is that once the kundalini is activated and if you meditate with this stone properly you can raise your energy up to activate the third eye with this the shiva lingham and that's why it's so it's a beautiful stone now this is a small piece right here um uh, I do have other pieces or whatever, but this is a small piece right here and um, it doesn't really matter when you work with crystals I mean, I shouldn't say it doesn't matter because the size can matter But at the end of the day if you know how to work with crystals a certain kind of way the size crystal you have Really won't matter if you're meditating with it and working with it a certain kind of way when you get like bigger crystals They don't get me wrong. They have more energy involved with them. I'm not saying that but when you get bigger crystals. It's meant to 
light up like a whole room or to light up like a whole environment. But then there's even rituals or certain methods that you can use to uh, work with small crystals to light up even a whole room. Because when you work with Shiva Lingham, um, you can work with other crystals with this crystal. So don't just think that I'm working with this crystal alone. Even though working with this crystal alone is very powerful, but don't just think that I'm working with this crystal alone. I'm working with other crystals when I start talking about using this crystal to raise the Kundalini energy and things of that nature. I'm working with other crystals in order to accomplish this or whatever, but uh, this crystal is definitely, definitely essential. I mean, you can work with this crystal alone to accomplish that goal. I mean, uh, one thing that I do is I, I do offer guided meditations and I take, you know, I take individual students into certain levels of meditation, depending on where they're at. But uh, basically, when I work with Shiva Lingham, I'll go ahead and, and uh, reveal this to the public um, because I usually don't reveal my meditation techniques to the public, mainly for a bunch of different reasons or whatever. But I um, won't really discuss that here. But the reason why I, I want to reveal this to the public, though. I uh, put the Shiva Lingham in my belly button, and this is actually something that uh, a female brought to my attention. Believe it or not, this stone was actually, I knew about this stone, but a female purchased this stone, uh, a, a female that was once um, one of my meditation students, and she's now actually uh, part of the family. We're, we're on a different level or whatever, as far as, uh, when I say we're on a different level, I mean like as far as she's took it up a notch or whatever, she's now part of the 13th Science Astrology family now, but um. She started off as a meditation student and she brought this to my attention and was telling me about like the effects that it had on her and helping her to raise her Kundalini energy. So I was like, whoa, I need to definitely get this stone. I mean, I've owned a lot of stones and I can't believe that I missed out on this. But I mean, you know, I, I mean, I'm still learning. As I say, I'm still a student. So um, I decided to go ahead and just do this video and basically to talk about this stone. Um, it's basically it's actually a quartz stone, believe it or not, but it's mixed in. It's since it. it it originates in the waters of India, and it's the only place you can get it. It's in the waters of India and in the river. Um, basically, it's mixed in with a lot of impurities from the waters or whatever. Now, uh, this is what gives its effect in helping with the raising of the Kundalini energy and working with the sexual energy because this is mostly an earth energy stone. This stone basically is good for grounding as well, too, and uh, earth energy. And you can work with it with the higher chakras, but... It's best if you work with the lower chakras or whatever, as far as like working with this stone. Um, now, we know in the occult, when we talk about Shiva, Shiva was, you know, the male counterpart to Kali. And uh, Kali or Shakti uh, is basically dealing with the feminine aspect. So really, they call this Shiva Lingham, but by me working with it, I believe that Kali and Shiva should be associated with this stone. So I, I want to call it Kali Shiva Lingham. Personally, this is just what I want to change the name to, and uh, I might call this video this. But um, but when you work with the energy, it's good for male and females, and it's an earth energy stone. And Shiva represents uh, the masculine sexual energy and the masculine uh, aspect of the Kundalini energy, and Kali represents the feminine aspect of it. So when you work with this stone, you are balancing. Even as a male and female, we both have male and uh female energy involved with us now males males have more uh shiva energy of course because we're males but we also have uh shakti or kali energy as well and females may have more kali energy but they actually uh have shiva energy as well so when you work with this stone it helps you to balance out the feminine and the uh masculine energies now this stone like when you deal with sex and sexual energy it's a actually it's actually a feminine thing believe it or not sexual energy is feminine but the masculine aspect is just as important so when you start working with this stone it helps you to balance out your feminine and your masculine energies which will help to enhance your sexual experience and this is a very affordable way this stone is not really expensive it's a very affordable way to enhance uh, your sexual experiences and to basically activate certain energies that are located within you so that you can become more spiritual because um, as you guys know when I talk about energy uh, I talk about energy in the context of you becoming more spiritual because everything on this planet is energy so when you work with energy you're working with the the unseen element if you will that's involved in everything when you work with money that's energy when you work with sex that's energy um, when you work with food that's energy 
when you travel, you're working with energy. So becoming an energy worker is very important. And this stone, Shiva Lingham, is very important in that process of helping you to activate certain Latin energies that are already within you, but they're not activated because th th this is what stones are for. This is basically stones heal, like I have been stressing in this video, stones heal the uh, unseen aspects of you and they help to activate certain Latin energies that are within you, certain dormant energies that are within you and they help to activate them and make them become active and when you activate certain energies within you, you'll notice your surroundings will change. When certain energies get activated in you, your surroundings are going to automatically change. And this is a universal law because everything that you see is a reflection of the, your energy that is located within you. So when you partake in certain foods, um, when you just do anything and working with energy, when you take your, partake in certain sexual acts, when you keep certain friends in your circle, these are all energies that are around you and surrounding you. So when you learn how to work with energy, Basically, what you're doing is is that when you work with energy, you are changing the energy internally through stones and certain meditational techniques. You're, you're changing the energy internally within you and uh, altering it. And then in that, you're going to see your outward world change and be altered. And your outward state be changed and be altered because everything, like I said, is a reflection of your own energy. Light, the, the light that you see, which is on the exterior level, which is the people that you see are all lights. They're all lights. So when you become a light worker, basically what you're doing is learning how to work with the light in turn by working with your own energy, which is the dark worker aspect of it. Working with the internal energy is the dark worker aspect of it. And then when you see a reflection of your energy in the light, then that's when you know basically that you've successfully tapped into and worked with your own energy and basically you've altered your energy when you see those things around you i should say not just when you see the reflected back when you see your situation around you become better that's when you know that you successfully have tapped into the um, correct energy that's located within you and you've altered it a certain kind of way and the way that you do that is uh ladies and gentlemen is by working with these stones or whatever definitely by working with these stones so uh this is shiva shakti um Lingham was what I call it, <laughs> but you can purchase it on the market. Um, it's actually called uh, Shiva Lingham, and uh, it's a very important stone. It's good for reproductive issues and females. Like if you have any type of issue, even in menopause and females, it's good for that. It's good for male libido. Those males that are having trouble with their prostate, you can work with this um, just by putting it in your belly button and just sitting it in your belly button it will help you to alter your state. Like I mean, tremendously just by even doing that. And then if you were to take my meditation course, you know, um, this is not an advertisement for it, but I'm just saying if you were to take it, uh, because actually I do have several students or whatever right now, so it's not like I'm really here to just try to get more students in meditation. But if you are to take the meditation course, I'll teach you certain techniques on how to work with it. But the best thing to do, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you know, without even taking my meditation course is to put it in your belly button and breathe with it. And definitely breathe with it and it's going to help you on every level on like a multi-dimensional level um, if you're interested in purchasing this stone um, <clears throat> you can purchase this stone um, basically from a crystal shop in your neighborhood uh, most cities have crystal shops um, you could just look for a metaphysical bookstore in the phone book or on the internet in your city and this should a crystal shop should pop up but for those of you that don't know where, where they sell crystals you can go to any metaphysical uh, bookstore and you put that in a Google and put it in your city and a crystal shop should pop up if by chance you can't find it um, via your city in your home city you can definitely order this through me um, through my website I don't make any profit off of this but if you're interested in ordering this through me uh, you send me an email at 13 signs astrology at gmail.com and I'll definitely be glad to ship you one what I'm basically going to do is I have a partnership with a, a local crystal shop here where I am locally and uh, I basically will just ship you the same uh, crystals that I get from them or whatever and I can guarantee that they have good quality because um, I mean I would suggest you that you go online and order crystals online but some people have told me that they've ordered crystals online and they haven't been 
something real or, you know, just different things and they're fake. And basically, you know, you're going to get the real deal or whatever. If you uh, definitely order it through my website and um, or just go on your own or whatever and go to a metaphysical bookstore um, in your local area and put your hands on it and make sure that, you know, just kind of fill it out and you program your crystal by uh, putting it in your right hand and transferring it into your left hand and putting your intentions into it like I'm doing. You program your crystal that way and you can fill it out and you'll feel the energy and be able to tell if it's real. I mean, the energy is amazing with this stone, even right now, like energy is like amazing in this stone. I mean, I could just feel my kundalini rising i can feel that snake coming out of the top of my crown chakra like right now i mean just from working with this stone so i mean it's a very powerful stone um i wouldn't be making a video if it wasn't um it's very affordable it's a very affordable stone um sh shouldn't cost you any more than 10 bucks to get this stone i believe so just depending on the size you get so um with that said um I hope this video helped and for more enlightening information, I uh, hope that you visit my website and until we meet again, I'll leave you in peace.